video self-reflection as a strategy in a class um, is is an eye-opening strategy to use once a teacher can get comfortable with having even just a camera in the space it is actually a really fun tool to be able to capture you know high stakes projects at the same time uh, low stakes informal reflections so I do think that having students being able to look at themselves that their own video footage uh, to assess where they are in something as as key as oral presentation uh, it's great because I can tell them that they have a certain ism like they're slouching or they have an eye twitch or they're twirling their hair but when they can actually see for themselves what they look like on screen I don't have to say a word so again my role in, as a teacher and and kind of my voice being present and everything, I actually, this is one of those times where the camera speaks for itself, um, the lens doesn't lie. So what that picks up in terms of, uh, for in this case, the students doing their oral presentations is, is really effective for them being able to see what they need to work on. I do think that uh, students being able to have like their own highlight reels, what we're compiling together, is, is an effective tool to use in the class. And especially with um, the abundance of social media out there and what the students are putting out. Um, oftentimes, you know, you, you wish they would put out, uh, you know, video works that actually show them at, you know, becoming, uh, showing them as an academic. And I feel like when we can produce what are called highlight reels in my classroom um, that showcase you as an academic, um, I don't know, it'd be nice to be able to see one of them posted on their blogs. Today you're going to be looking at your video footage of yourself doing your oral presentations. Whatever's clever, okay? So that's part of how you're gonna get over the fear is you have to watch yourself. I watched you on your highlight reels and I'm already seeing improvement from January to now. You're gonna do a guru collection of multiple uh, videos but I wanna go through them first. In this resource, and don't go to this one first, go to this one last. In that resource is a Google folder that has highlight reels for most everybody in here and if your highlight reel is not in there it's because either I'm missing footage from you etc you weren't here that day but I try to get one of everybody but I'll let you know if I don't have one of you you're gonna score somebody else's watch yourself force yourself I don't wanna watch look this at so yourself come on count your you know how do you think it is I mean, I, I just... That was weird. Honestly, I wasn't even ready when I did this what do you one. I remember you did it good. What, which one, my max speech? Yeah, my max speech was cool. Okay, it's just, you see that? Showing, it's like... You see I, I wasn't really prepared. Like, when I came in class, like, <laughs> I got to do as much as I could before I had to go up. Okay. So, it's a, it's a, I want to do some Prezi. How, did you listen to the speed of what you're saying? I mean, I'm talking about that. Okay. Go back and watch yourself two times. This is terrible. Uh, video self-reflection, I feel like, initially uncomfortable. Um, it takes time for the students to get comfortable, but then they look forward to actually seeing, they look forward to, to, to seeing what they look like on screen because they also see progress. They see themselves getting better because, uh, again, the camera doesn't lie, um, and, it, and it does capture progress as well. For 12th graders, getting in front of a camera, um, being publicly, authentically assessed, um, having other people watch your footage um, with, with the intent to be able to give you feedback, I think is, is ideal for this age. I feel like they're, they're at a, a comfort level where they can uh, not only be proficient in managing the camera and filming each other, but also just uh, wanting to put their best foot forward because they are, you know, they're older. <coughs> um, so I feel like in, in terms of how does this work with this particular age group? I think that it does work really well with upper grade levels. Um, and it makes effective teaching tools for myself as a teacher for next year when my students can see years and years and years worth of other students uh, doing the same exercises.